Welcome to Sergeant Jeffrey Mullen Field on the campus of, of Weymouth High School on a very cold and dreary Thursday night in the second round of the MIAA Division I State Tournament. The 12, 3, and 3 Brockton Boxes, the number 12 seed, they're at Weymouth tonight, the number 5 seed, 13, 3, and 4. I'm Leo Genitasio, along with the legend Orlando Galveo. Of course, we got the postman, Mike Simmons, on the production. Orlando, second round of the MIA State Tournament for the Boxes. A huge win opening up, but tonight, taking a step up as far as the competition, the Weymouth Wildcats, they played King Phillip the last round. 11 penalty kicks after sudden death overtime didn't decide it pulled it out and um i'm pumped up i see the crowd following in the music is uh blazing up in here it should be a good one i, I can't wait to get this started we see the weymouth uh, wildcats the kids all bleach their hair i guess that's a tradition here in weymouth the wildcats come in tonight obviously we just said it 13 3 and 4. their sole losses this year to needham uh brookline and bc high Orlando, talking to Coach Bill McGeckrin before the game, what's our expectation from Weymouth tonight? Well, Weymouth is from the Bay State, one of the toughest league in the state in terms of soccer. Uh, Weymouth uh, is led by a pretty good player by the name of Bruno D'Souza. He has 13 goals in a year, followed by Cameron Walty with 10 goals uh, uh, in a year. It's, it's very interesting, too, as a program, Weymouth has made the playoffs 34 years in a row. Incredible. Yep. Incredible consistency. A team that's won three state championships in the 90s every year. Like Brockton, when they get to the tournament, their aspirations, obviously, of winning a state championship. Tonight, the boxes, they come in at 12-3-3. Three and three. A dominant performance last game. Orlando against Somerville, where Brockton really could have won that game by five or six goals. They scored four. Fabio Fernandez with three. Egan DeAndre with the other. They hit the post three times. Talking to head coach Romino Furtado, Orlando, during the week. What are the expectations tonight here in Weymouth? The expectations, like you said earlier. Uh, uh, another round, that means a tougher competition. So, obviously, the, he's saying they're ready, they're confident, they're ready to go. they got to step up their game. They know that the competition has stepped up as well, so they have to step up their game if they're going to come out tonight and win. We talked earlier, and we've said this all season long, Brockton's been led by the two-headed attack of forwards, Fabio Fernandez, who is has uh, 12 goals now after a hat-trick last game. Also, uh, they have Edgar DeAndre, the leading scorer, 15 goals. But the name we talk about every game, the center back from defense, Orlando, is there a better player in Massachusetts than Wolf Lentz? He's unbelievable. When I talk to the Weymouth coach, uh, uh, Coach McEachran down there, he says, number four, Number 11, number 10, number 5. Oh, these guys are tough. We got to watch for these guys. He knows he's aware of it. And um, tonight, they're going to have to step up their game even more, Leo. So, again, the boxers come in tonight after an opening round victory over Somerville. The winner tonight, Orlando, after an upset last night, and Danvers, Ludlow, went into St. John's Prep, the defending state championship. Ludlow, who's won... A perennial state contender have won several state championships. They'll get the winner of this game. So if Brockton wins, they'll be at home for the next round. Same for Weymouth. If they win, and it doesn't get tough. I've seen Ludlow, very, very tough team. Um, obviously, that's what they 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 like, kind of like Brockton back in the day where football was the only thing. Same goes for Ludlow. Soccer's a big thing in Ludlow, and um, whoever wins this game, make no mistake, if they are watching, they're going to have a very tough competition up next. So we'll give you the boxer starters right now. The Weymouth starters will be in to introduced um, via the press uh, conference, uh, the press media that they have here. Um, starting for the boxers tonight will be all uh, Wilson Andrade, the junior goaltender. The three terrific defenders start with junior Valdemir Rodriguez, senior Benicio Andrade, and of course Wolf Lentz Victor, the center back, Janilson DeBrito, the junior. Fabio Fernandez, hat-trick last game, the senior. Edgar DeAndre, leading scorer, senior. And let's not forget, we talked about him many times, too. He gets lost in the shuffle sometimes, but a terrific playmaker himself. Wadley Paul, the senior. Alexandro Marrera, the junior. Alessandro Tavares, a junior. And Jason Marrera, the sophomore. Did you get a chance to talk to Coach DeAndre before the game, uh, Orlando? Yeah, Coach Furtado, I did get a chance to talk to him. I asked him how he feels about today. He says he, you know, ramped up his playoff. He's ready to go, very excited. The team's ready. They had a, a good week of practice. Uh, 
couple of days to prepare. Got an extra day to prepare. So um, I can't wait. We got, we got to get this rolling here. So the weather tonight, it looks like it's overcast. So obviously, there was a lot of rain today. It was cold and dreary. We're playing on artificial surface tonight. I don't know if it, it uh, both teams play most of their games on artificial surface. I don't think there's any team that's going to be favored because of the playing conditions. But the weather looks like it is, is holding off in the rain. So hopefully it will be a clean, crisp game. And we'll get some fabulous soccer here at Weymouth High School. Yep. Yeah, uh, the rain looked like it's, uh, you know, tampered off a little bit. Obviously, you might get a little slip here and there, but it looks the field looks like it's in great shape, and um, people are starting to fall in here, and this uh, should be a good one. Uh, Weymouth uh, and the Power Rankers is ranked fifth. Brockton's ranked twelfth. So um, with Weymouth's schedule, you know, to be ranked fifth is quite impressive. And so we talk about the power schedule, too. Like in football, if you see the power schedule, Lando, a lot of times the, the number one seed, even the two, three, four, and five seed, they blow out the lower seeds. In soccer, complete mm. opposite. You could see a number 30 or 31 seed. go Like Durfee was one of the lower seeds. They took the number one seed, Conquer Carlisle, but that went to extra time, and um, Durfee lost. Very competitive in, in Massachusetts high school soccer. Brookline last year, they weren't the number one seed. They won a state championship. Two years ago, Two yep. years ago, yep. right. Mm -hmm. So it, it, there's a lot of equality when coming across. It doesn't matter if you're a suburban school, a Catholic school, or school, uh, an urban school. Yeah, how, well, how about the, the team that's waiting for this game? They, they were the lowest seed. They went into St. John's Prep and won. So that's a, that's a good point and won last night. So we are going to be a few minutes away from the first uh kick to stop the game. We'll, we'll get the the captains out and center for the coin test to see who can control the ball. Again, Leo Genitasio along with the legend all over the city of Brockton, Orlando Galveo, the postman, Mike Simmons on the production. He's doing it himself tonight. He's got the camera. He's got the production. The postman, he delivers. And we will get the national anthem and the game in a second. Thank you. Back here at Sergeant Jeffrey Mullen Field, Weymouth High School, Leo Genitasio along with the legend Orlando Galveo, the postman Mike Simmons on the production, the boxers and the Wildcats. We're just, should be a few minutes away from opening kick of this MIAA Division I second round, round of 32, state tournament game. Orlando, what do we have refereeing tonight? Uh, so tonight's referee is the lead referee. We have Mike Gullah, he's going to be our lead referee. The assistance referees will be David Barton and Kevin Suarez. So I apologize. That is the round of 16. So the next game will be the Elite Eight. There, we had a few teams with a bye in the first round. The postman gives me the correction right there. So, yes, this is the round of 16 tonight. The winner will be in the Elite Eight. And that game will be obviously to get to the Final Four. The boxes, of course coming off a season last year where they got knocked off in, a, in this round by Conquer Carlisle. Brockton every year, Orlando, they come into this tournament. Coach Furtado, everything's about a state championship. Winning the league, which they've done, getting to the next round of the tournament, and hopefully getting to the state championship game. Of course, Brockton, their last state championship, 2017, where they were nationally ranked. A uh, very good team. I remember that. I was there. Um, they were down two to nothing, and, and you know was able to score five goals in the second half. No one Leo Texera, right? 
Yeah. Leonardo but Texero. Couldn't, couldn't forget that. Um, when I was on the field today, I looked at the faces of the players. Obviously, serious. Um, uh, they're all about business. They're, they're, I think they're ready to go. Get this started um, and advance uh, into this uh, tournament. One thing about Coach Furtado, me and you have talked about this for years. His teams always seem to be playing better soccer as the season goes along. And entering the tournament, they seem to be peaking. Yes, always. Uh, you know, Brockton, you can easily say as a program, might be the best uh, program in the school right now. I mean, as far as consistency and um, always in the playoffs, always giving you something to cheer about, right? We, when we come see this, uh, this soccer team every year, we, we have that feeling like they can beat anybody. We talked about this before. The soccer program's always taken a backseat to whether it was the football team, the basketball team, the baseball team, even years, the Brockton hockey team, they've taken a backseat, but not anymore. They're the uh, preeminent program in Brockton right now. They are winners. They've won state championships. They're always a top 10 team, and they are right now one game away from the Elite Eight. Right. So we will have scores throughout the, the state today. Uh, we do have one real quick. Uh, Winchester leads Brookline 1-0 in the first half and uh, the Division One bracket as well. So we are now going to get the starting lineups from the Weymouth press box. Number three, Venencio Andre. Number four, Wolf Lance Vicho. Number six, Jamilson Dobrido. Number eight, Pablo Fernandez. Number 17, Edgar DeAndre. Number 11, Paul Wadley. Number 15, Alessandro Morea. Number 20, Alessandro Traveres. And number 21, Jason Morea. And now, for your Weymouth Wildcats. Number one, Bo Carly. Number three, Sean Flynn. Number five, Joe Looney. Number nine, Jack Brady. Number 10, Bruno D'Souza. Number 11, Mason Fazzoli. Number 13, Cameron Walty. Number 15, Danny Silva. Number 18, Michael Primo. Number 21, Tyler Miller. And number 22, Gabe Gray. So, Orlando, I'm going to read back those people who didn't get that. The uh, Weymouth starters tonight. In goal will be a senior, Bo Carley. Sean Flynn is a junior. Oh, and we'll get it after the, the pledge of the national anthem. So back here at Sergeant Jeffrey Mullenfield, Weymouth High School, Leo Genitasio, along with the legend Orlando Galveo, the postman Mike Simmons in the production. We're going to give you the Weymouth starters real quick. That's Bo Carley, the senior goaltender. Sean Flynn is a junior. Joe Looney is a senior. Jack Brady, a senior. Bruno D'Souza, a senior. Mason Fazzoli is a sophomore. Cameron Walty is a junior. 
Danny De Silva, a sophomore, Michael Primo, a junior, Tyler Miller, a senior, and Gabrielle Ray, a sophomore. So a team like Brockton mixed up with a bunch of seniors, Orlando, with some underclassmen. Yes, uh, seems like it. They got a little mixture there, and they're a very, very good team. Uh, their record indicates that from, uh, again, a tough league. And we talk about leagues in the state. Well, people talk about the Hockamock League being a terrific football and baseball league. The Bay State League's always been a terrific soccer league, always competitive with... And, and for Weymouth to be a tournament team 34 years in a row, pretty impressive. 34 years in Incredible. a row. Incredible. Oh, that's, that's, that's amazing. I don't, I don't even know if any other program has done that in any sport. Uh, I expect you to know that one, Alain. Uh, I'm a little surprised you don't know that one. <laughs> well, I did, I did know about the 34 years. I got that. I went to the archives to get that. Um, but it uh, looks like they're ready to go. Um, so we're seconds away here from opening kick. Um, so the weather here, we got 40 degrees. It feels much uh, colder, but cloudy. Chance of rain, uh, that's what uh, the weather forecast indicates. And now for all the play-by-play -play for the Brockton Boxers for tonight, Mr. Leo Genitasio. Thanks, Orlando. So we are seconds away here from the opening kick here at Sergeant Jeffrey Mullen Field. The Wildcats and the Boxers, they've played numerous times. They scheduled each other for years, always a Highly contested battle in soccer. We played them, and we played them in just about every sport: mm -hmm. basketball, football, baseball, hockey. When it was a big program, it's always a good rivalry, respectful rivalry. I've never uh, remember any problems in the stands. It's schools with rich traditions of athletics, mm -hmm. and it's good to see them playing in the tournament in a do-or-die game. So Weymouth will have the opening kick, and that's Bruno De Souza. He sends it back, and Looney kicks it deep, and it will be Marrero over there with number 11, Mason Fazzoli. Kick back to, is that is, Valdemar Rodriguez, and he will punch it back over to number 15 for the boxes, Alexandro Marrera. He sends it up, and he's got Edgar DeAndre. That's Fabio Fernandez. Fabio Fernandez in the middle of the field. A nice pass over to Jason Marrera, sent back over to the boxes, number 20. Alessandro Tavares, he sends the ball up, and that's going to go out of bounds. I apologize if I'm not going to get the names of the far side of the field. It's a... It's a ways off here. So the Weymouth will have a throw in. The ball's over towards the midfield part of the field, and the box is controlled, and the ball is played back to the goaltender, Wilson Andrade. He sends it right over, and that's Wolf Victor. Wolf Victor, the big left foot, sent it to the middle field, looking for Fabio Fernandez, intercepted by Weymouth. There's Bruno. He's going to get an offside. The flag's going to go up. Yeah, good yes. call. The referee was quick with the flag. So the boxes will control the ball. As we're early here in the first half. That's going to be Wolf Andrade, and he's got Benicio Andre. Benicio Andre sends the ball up looking for Edgar DeAndrade. Edgar DeAndrade with room. Fabio Fernandez. Fabio Fernandez, a nice touch pass. Janelson DeBrito. DeBrito to, to number Edgar DeAndre with Wadley Paul there. Play back to Jason Marrera. Here's Fabio Fernandez. He's in space to wet Janelson DeBrito. Janelson DeBrito. To himself, he's got a little bit of room in the other box. And good Weymouth defense, and the box is taken over. They get the ball back on a turnover. Everybody and that's going to be Edgar DeAndre. To Alessandro Tavares in the header out, good defensive play. The boxes do control the ball, Alessandro Tavares. He plays the ball back to Benicio Andre, and Benicio plays it back to Will Victor. Will Victor, a nice move. Always in control. Sends the ball up to Fabio. Fabio Fernandez to Valdemir. Mm. A little bit too strong that time. A little bit too strong for uh, Andre. So, so the ball's played in, and that is Bruno D'Souza. And the ball is kicked away by Benicio Andre. So Weymouth will get a throw-in at about the 20-yard line of Brockton. The throw-in will be by number 11, Mason Fazzoli. Looking for Bruno D'Souza. And good defense by the boxes. Now it's number three, Benicio Andre. We say those three Brockton defenders every game. They're stalwart back there. They are tough. So the ball is played in by Wilson Andre. Valdemir Rodriguez has room. He sends the ball up as the boxes matriculate the ball in the, their own side of the field. Alessandro to reverse will go out of bounds for a box of throwing. That's Valdemar Rodriguez with the throw. Looking for Janelson DeBrito. 
The ball played over. Now there's Fabio Fernandez. Fabio Fernandez touches the pass there. He was looking for back for DeBrito, and the ball's going to go out of bounds, and Weymouth will control as they send the ball up for a Brockton throw in on the far side of the field. So the Brockton's will have a throw in around the 30-yard line of the Weymouth side of the field. The ball's thrown in, and there's Edgar DeAndre with Wadley Paul. The box is moved. There is some room and space, and a nice play defensively by Weymouth by number 21, and that's Tyler Miller, the senior captain. So the box has got a throw in, and that's number 15, Alexandro Marrera. Good defensive play by the Wildcats. Controlled by number 20 from the box is Alessandro Tavares. Intercepted, and we have no call. Well, actually, yeah, we do. So we're going to get a Weymouth kick on a foul by the box. It's good defense by the Wildcats. Number five is Joe Looney. He'll have the kick. He sends the ball deep, looking for a sprinting, and the ball is low. Oh, nice play, play by, by Wolf Victor. Wow. That looked dangerous. So Weymouth controls the ball. The ball sent in, looking for number 13, Cameron Walty. Controlled by Wolf Victor once again, sends it out of a dangerous area. I have something here. There's Jason Moreri. He's sending the ball deep. It looks like a Wadley Paul sprinting, and Weymouth safely plays the ball out of bounds for a Brockton throw in. The boxes leave the ball, and that looks like it's going to be Valdemar Rodriguez over there on the throw. As he leaves it now, a Wolf Victor will throw the ball. So we are uh, under 36 minutes in the first half. No real scoring threats yet. As the play has been mostly on the Weymouth side of the field. So the throw in. Ball goes deep towards the box. The head is mm. in. Nice play by the Weymouth defense. Wolf Victor with the ball. He sends the ball back in. Brockton has the ball. Fabio Fernandez in the box. He makes a move. The ball comes over to Tavares. He looks for Fabio Fernandez. And the Weymouth just gets the ball out. And we're going to get a whistle. And that's going to be a Brockton foul as the boxes put some little pressure on the Weymouth defense, and they held up pretty strongly. So a Weymouth kick at 34-45 of the first half of a scoreless game. Weymouth defense uh, stands strong so far. Brockton's been hard to get through that defense. So Weymouth defensively sends a long kick, looking for the Weymouth forwards, headed up by Valdemir Rodriguez. There's space over there from Weymouth, a nice play. As the pass goes to Bruno Fernandez. He won touches, and there's Wolf Victor again. And number two for the boxes of Aldemar Rodriguez. He sends it out of trouble. Boxes has space. They have numbers. Oh, defense. Great defensive play by Weymouth. The ball goes deep. They're looking again. They have the number in space. He has room. And the kick. He scores! What a shot. Great pass. Great lead. Left footer just kicks it right by the Brockton goalie. And Weymouth strikes first. So Brockton misplayed the ball towards their own box right there. Mason Fazzoli with a short touch to himself and the left foot, he put it in the inside part of the, of the goal and Brockton is down Orlando. Yeah, he, he, he placed that ball exactly where you needed to place it. Wayman strikes first blood on a beautiful goal. So we are at one nothing at the 34th minute of the first half. The box is coming out a little flat especially defensively right there, Orlando, a play that sh probably should have been cleaned up by the boxes. Well, it was, a, it was just a beautiful pass. He stayed on side, and uh, obviously he's a left uh, kick, uh, kicker, so it was easy for him to get a good shot. So, Edgar DeAndre will send the ball back. Wolf Victor with the ball. The box is down by one. Let's see how they respond. The ball sent up. Weymouth controls the ball again. The ball is sent back. Bruno D'Souza is there with Wolf Victor. Wolf Victor sends the ball back up. The head, the head is going to go out of bounds, and we'll get a Brockton throw in. That's exactly the start that Weymouth wanted in this game. It looked like Brockton was controlling the ball, but then that they get the break, nice pass, and able to strike first. So there's a head out. That will be cleared out by the Weymouth defense. Bruno Sousa the is there. Brockton, Janelson to Brito. To Jason Moreira, back over. There's a nice touch pass. To number 15 for the boxes, Alexandro Moreira. Uh, and Brockton will get the corner kick. So the box is responding, getting some pressure on Weymouth. And the box is usually the corner kick will be Wolf Victor. Let's see who takes it tonight. And it looks like it will be number 15, Alexandro Moreira. The boxes play the ball short. That's number 20, Alessandro Tavares. He sends it in and a good defensive play by Weymouth. So the boxes will have a throw in. Tav Let's see who throws it. It looks like it's Alessandro Tavares. He'll leave it for 
That's Will Victor. Will Victor also has a very strong arm as far as throwing the ball, and he'll throw the ball right near the goal. It's a terrific throw near the box. Brock oh. has head. It's, ooh, it's just headed over the net for the best attempt by the boxers tonight on a terrific throw in, and I believe that was Edgar DeAndre who just headed over the bar. So we'll get a goal kick from the Wildcats, and that's Bo Carley, the senior netminder. And he sends it high and deep past midfield. Controlled by, and that's Valdemir Rodriguez. Kicked back over. Wayne with a nice header by number 22, Gabriel Ray. And we're going to get a foul on the boxes. So Weymouth will have control of the ball at midfield. So the ball is sent in deep. And there's a little room there. Kicked away by the boxes. Alessandro Tavares sends the ball up deep. We got Wadley Paul. A nice touch pass to himself. There's some space. They look. And it's mm. a miss. Oh, and there's Fabio Fernandez. Janelson to Brito. He sends the ball deep. There's a little bit of space in the room. A nice touch pass back to DeBrito. DeBrito moves in the box. He still has room. He still has room. Oh, great defense that time by Weymouth. The ball sent back out to Valdemar Rodriguez. He has the ball. He sends it high and deep. And oh, oh and just over the net. And a terrific effort by Valdemar Rodriguez that sent Bo Carley back into his own net. All right, Carley was a little bit confused there and uh, just went over his head. Good wow. effort by Rodriguez trying to catch the Weymouth goalkeeper out of position. So Brockton has pushed back a little bit after that early goal by the Wildcats. Bo Carley with the goal kick. And it's a good kick. It's out. Controlled by the boxes. And that is number 17 for the boxes. Who's not on the roster, but I think that's Anthony Pina Santos on a different uniform. Yeah, I'm great job by Flynn that time just to get the yeah. ball out. So the throw in will be by Wolf Victor again. Wolf Victor is able to throw that ball right near the goal. And it's another terrific throw into space. Controlled by Wiff, and not bound. The ball is loose. Janelson to Brito in space. He sends it over. Turn around the kick. Oh, oh just deflected off. off a Wayman player. And again, another scoring chance for Brockton. So I, Coach Furtado has got to be pleased with the response by the boxes as they're starting to put some pressure on Weymouth. The corner kick will be Alessandro Tavares as Brock, Brockton is looking for the equalizer. We're at 30 minutes of the first half of a 1-0 Weymouth lead. Let's see if Brockton, Brockton plays it short. They send the ball near the goal. Tavares taking his time. And there's the kick. It goes towards the net. Sent away by Weymouth. Great defense. Controlled by number 15, Alessandro Marrera. He sends the ball in to the boxes. Headed out by Weymouth. He, Marrera still with the ball. Good yeah. defense. And here comes Bruno D'Souza. Bruno D'Souza with a little bit of room. Nice move around. He has space. He gets around. He sends the ball deep. And a terrific pass. But there's number two, Valdemar Rodriguez, to intercept it. He has the ball. He sends the ball up as the boxes have some room. And that's Janelson DeBrito. He sends it out in good defense by the Weymouth. And that's Sean Flynn. So we'll get a throw in by the boxes at about the 10-yard line of Weymouth. The previous play, Grabbers, Ray, number 22. Great defensive play, and he let the Brockton player hear about it, too. So Will Victor will once again be on the throw in. Let's see how far he gets that ball towards the goalkeeper. And it's another terrific throw. There's some Brockton players over there. Good defense by Weymouth. Wolf Victor controls the ball. Makes a nice move. He sends the ball deep across. There's room. Oh, and the ball's oh. loose. And a good save by Bo Carley. And another bullet has just been dodged by Weymouth. So the boxes are fighting back. They're close to evening this game up at one. So Brockton will have their third penalty kick of this first half as they're down by one. So it looks like it will be, is that Marrera taking it? He sends a ball shallow. The box is to Brito, sends the ball in. The ball's crossed. There's room there, it's back. Back to Benicio Andre, he kicks it. Nice play by Weymouth defensively. Brockton's still in control. The ball's headed up into space and Weymouth defensively will let that ball go out for a goal kick. Yeah, we gotta play it down for Weymouth. I believe it's Ray, he gets up, good for him. That will be Gabriel Ray, yep. So we are getting a substitute for Weymouth. We'll see number four, Nate Pujols, the junior, and number 19, Gabriel Rodriguez, the sophomore. 
as Weymouth makes some changes. Going out will be number 21, Tyler Miller, and number 22, Gabrielle Ray. So Weymouth making some early substitution. The boxer 11 stays the same. The goal kick by Bo Carley is going to be controlled by the boxer, sent back. As the ball will be kept alive by Jim Marrera, and we'll get a Brockton throw in on the far side of the field. As the boxers press on, down one nothing in the first half. You take that one goal from Weymouth, the, all that pl uh, the play's been all in the Brockton uh, offensive end. So the ball is headed in by the boxers. Nice play. And I think we might get a, yeah, a dangerous play by the boxer. I thought it was clean, but, you know, you're not going to get those calls every time. So Weymouth will have the kick as they send players forward. The ball sent away, and it is, gets through. Weymouth controls this. Bruno D'Souza, a nice pass over to number 11. Mason Fazzoli, the goal scorer. He's in. He sends the ball across. Oh! oh! That was a great pass to D'Souza, and he sailed that high. That was very dangerous. What a pass. So, Mason Fazzoli having himself an early first half, a terrific cross that... Bruno D'Souza just put over the bar. Yeah, and Bruno D'Souza normally does not miss that. Brockton dodges a bullet there. So Brockton turns the ball over it again, and it is controlled by Fazzoli. He takes it away, makes a nice move in space. Sends the ball over to Bruno. Bruno makes a nice move. Good defense by the boxes. And I think Weymouth will get a corner kick yeah, out that, of that Yeah, that, that did go off Brockton. Weymouth is going to have their second corner so kick of the game. The boxes will have a hands full with Bruno D'Souza and Mason Fazzoli. So the corner by Weymouth will be by number 10, Bruno D'Souza. He sends the ball. It's a terrific kick. There's space there for Weymouth. The ball controlled now by number 18 from Weymouth, and that's Michael Primo. He sends the ball up, intercepted by the boxes, and they have some space. Here. And Andre, he's got Wadley Paul. He sends the ball over to, is that Fabio Fernandez? Eggie Andre now with the ball. He slows it up. Good defense from Weymouth. Brockton yeah. looked like they had numbers. Will Victor with the ball. He controls it. Will Victor passes the ball over. Nice move by, by Jason Marrera. And that ball will be a throw in again for the boxes. Yeah, it looked like Brockton had something there. And it it slowed it down. Yeah. Slowed it down. I don't know why, but they, they did have something over there. They had a three on two break. They had the guys they wanted with the ball. Eggie DeAndre, Fabio Fernandez, and Wadley Paul. So the boxes will have another throw in on the Weymouth 10 yard of, the, of their field. Will Victor throws the ball into the box, controlled by Brockton. A little bit of space. The ball sent oh. in the middle. The ball is deflected. Great defense again by Weymouth. Bruno D'Souza has a little bit of space. Good defense from the boxes. Played back, and Brockton will control the ball, and the ball goes back to Benicio Andre. Benicio Andre with space. He sends the ball up. Yeah. It's turned over, and Aaron pass. Controlled by Weymouth. He has number 17 by the boxes. Played back to Janosin DeBrito. He has room. He sends the ball up deep. Good defense by Weymouth. Fabio Fernandez was there. Controlled again by, right. and we're going to get that's, a foul. That's, that's, that's Weymouth's first call, and that's a good call. So Brockton will get the ball right at about the 25-yard line, outside 10, 15 yards outside the box. Let's see what they do here. Wolf Victor, I'm sure, has scored from this position before. Weymouth puts it in like a semi-box, a semi-wall. You on the gotta, top of the box. You got to watch out for uh, Victor here. Uh, Left-footed left -handed, left kicker. He's very dangerous at uh, this point in the field. So let's see what Brockton does. They have three men around the ball. Let's. Brockton waiting, waiting for the referee to, and the play is live. And there is the kick. Well, Victor. Oh, oh and a terrific save. What a save, and what I tell you about Victor, can score at any part of the field and almost did there. What a save that time. Bo Carley has made himself known early in this game with a couple terrific saves. Alessandro Moreira sends the ball in. The ball's headed over into space to Brockton with the ball. Sent over and just, oh, just wide. wide again. As you talk about. had several chances, Oof. Orlando. What a respond by Brockton after the Weymouth goal. They're just constantly in the Weymouth end at this time. So the kick, the kick will again be Alexandro Marrera. Brockton has had numerous chances to tie this game up, just unable to put one in the back of the net. He sends the ball across. 
controlled over by Weymouth and the ball is out. Back for the boxes is number 20, Alessandro Tavares. Tavares still with the ball. The boxes send players forward. The ball sent to forward. Look at the number 15, Alessandro Marrera. He has room. Chips it to himself. And that will be, it looks like uh, another throw kick. in for the box. It's or a, is it a corner? I feel like it's only a matter of time, Leo. They've had several corners early in this game, Brockton. Let's see if they can convert one of these. It will be Alessandro Marrera again. He sends the ball across on the ground. Janosin DeBrito's there. It's back over to Marrera. Nice move. Control. Good defense Good that defense time by, by Weymouth. Weymouth. And that wall will be a Weymouth throw. Good defense yeah. by Weymouth right there. That Weymouth defense has been stellar uh, so far. That was number four, Nate Pujols, who just came into the game terrific defensively. He throws the ball in, and that's Mason Fazzoli. Yeah, that's and a that's push And that's going to be back. a push on the boxes. Yes. Number 15, Marrera. Alexandro Marrera. That's a clear foul. You Easy can't call. argue about that Easy one. call. So we're clooping out to 21 minutes of the first half. Leo Genitasio along with the Brockton legend, Orlando Galveo, the postman Mike Simmons on the production. We're here with Sergeant Jeffrey Mullen Field, Weymouth High School. The Wildcats leave the boxes. So the ball sent deep, controlled by Brockton. And the ball is sent up, and Weymouth takes control. Mason Fazzoli, the left foot. And that ball will go off Brockton, and it will be a Weymouth throw. Quick out of town scores right now. Winchester increases their lead on Brookline, 2 to nothing. second half. And Natick and Belmont, 0-0. Zero, zero. So Pujols will have the throw. He throws the ball looking for Bruno D'Souza. There's number 13 with the ball, Cameron Walty. The ball sent across. Oh, Ooh, and that just misses. It's Wayne that hasn't had a lot of chances, Orlando, but yeah. they've been good ones. Yeah, now he got it from a uh, uh, not of a good angle there, and lucky for Brockton, he shot it wide. So Wilson Andre plays the ball over to Benicio Andre. Benicio Andre taking his time. He sends the ball up, intercepted by Weymouth. There's the Fabio Fernandez. Fabio Fernandez plays it to Janelson DeBrito. Janelson DeBrito taking his time back to Benicio. Benicio kicks it up, and it looks like Pina Santos is there, and he has some room. And the Weymouth yeah. defense it's is. D'Souza again. That kid is solid. He's a with, good soccer player. D'Souza. Along with Danny De Silva. The throw in will be by number nine, Jack Brady. As Weymouth makes other substitutions, in will be number 21. Tyler Miller back into the game. Also number six, Mateus Souza into the game. As they are making substitutions, coming off will be number 18, Michael Primo. And number five, Joe Looney. As Weymouth is going to the bench, they're going to keep their guys fresh. No changes for the boxes. The ball sent up. There's Fabio Fernandez in room. A nice touch pass. He has room. Sends it back to... That's Jason Marrera. The ball sent mm. up, and that will be off the boxes for a Weymouth throw-in. We're under 20 in the first half of a Weymouth one nothing lead. Uh, great action into this game so far. Both sides. So the throw-in for the Wildcats. The ball is just controlled by Weymouth, and that ball will go out of bounds for a Barkton throw-in. And we'll get Valdemar Rodriguez on that side. Valdemar right around midfield for the throw-in. And it is up looking for, is that Jason Marrera on the far side? Jason Marrera controls it. F played back to, there's Wolf. Wolf with the ball. Plays the ball over, it's intercepted. Uh. But there's Benicio Andre. Now with the ball is Alessandro Tavares. He's looking for a streak in Fabio Fernandez. Again, the Weymouth defense stands strong. Number three, and he's gonna be taken over. Yeah, that was very dangerous there. He's waiting for the ball to go out and uh, the Weymouth player almost played that. Well, could have been on the move there, very So there's dangerous. the Souza. what a nice pass to Fazzoli. Number 13 sends the ball over deep, and that was Cameron Walty. And the ball is just going to be out of bounds for a Weymouth throw-in. So the Wildcats on the far side of the field will control the ball on a throw. They've had a few chances. They've been good ones for the Wildcats. Yeah, this is a good team, Leo. There's a reason why they're number five. So the ball in. Nice header by DeSouza. They have room. He gets around it. There's the cross, controlled by Brockton. It's sent out, out of harm's way, by, is that Anthony Pina Santos? No, that was number 11, I apologize, Wadley Paul. The ball sent in, and it looks look like we have Alexandro Marrero over there, controlled by a header by D'Souza. 
Ball sent over and across. The box is number 20. Alessandro Tavares gets it out of trouble. Weymouth controls the ball near the midfield. Weymouth still with the ball. A nice pass intercepted by Wolf Victor. Wolf Victor sends the ball back up. Weymouth with the ball. Hmm. Still with the ball. D'Souza with a pass. And there is Valdemar Rodriguez to send it out of trouble. The ball is headed out of bounds. And Brockton will have a throw in around midfield. And we will see Alessandro Marrero with the throw. There's Janelson DeBerto with a little bit of space. He takes the ball. He crosses over the 30. He still has room. He still has room. He sends the ball in. There's Fabio Fernandez. Fabio near the box, near the corner. Good defense from Weymouth. Fabio still with the ball. Sends the ball back. And there's Wolf. Wolf sends the ball in. And there oh. is controlled by Bo Carley. So the Wildcats in control of the ball. The senior netminder has been steady for Weymouth. The kick is sent deep. Weymouth, a nice header, looking for a streaking player. Ball is kept away. There's Marrera. Tabrito is along with them. Nice play by Fazzoli. Fazzoli sends the ball up into the middle of the field. There's number 13. Mm, what a move. Cameron Walty. He has the ball still going. Good defense from the boxes right there. And we're going to get Valdemar Rodriguez. Valdemar Rodriguez looking for Fabio Fernandez. Fabio still with Watch Roman. out here. Terrific move. He has room with this three Weymouth defenders. The cross uh, is just so out of the about. reach of the streak in Wadley Ball. So the throw in or the goal kick will be for Weymouth. Bo Carley. So we have a sub here for Brockton. Uh, Pina DeSantos coming in the game. So we don't know who number 17 is. It's Eight. not on the roster. 18 for Brockton. 17 is on the field right now. We do not have his name. We apologize. So number 21 will be Jason Marrera coming off. So Weymouth controls the ball, headed by Brockton. Brockton takes it to Nelson Debretto. He sends it. Oh, what a great defensive play that time. So the box is looking. There's number three from Weymouth who sauces the ball behind his back, and the ball looks like it may be going out of bounds. And it's kept alive in a good play by Mason Fazzoli. Terrific play. There's D'Souza. He one touches it to himself, and that ball will go out of bounds for Benicio Andre throwing. He throws it in, looking for Nelson Debretto. Wadley Paul is there. He controls the ball. Wadley with the ball. Taking his time, the left footer sends it deep, looking for a streak in Fabio Fernandez. Uh, that might be a corner. And yeah. that could be, yes, that looks like it will be a Brockton corner on the far side of the field. And let's see who takes it. Brockton's fifth corner of the game, is it, Leo? I think it might be their sixth, yeah. actually. So the corner for the boxes on the far side of the field, it might be Janelson DeBrito, the left footer. The box is sending everyone deep with just a few back. The ball sent in, it's mm, short, not their, best, it. not their best effort. Play back to number three, Benicio Andre. Benicio sends the ball in, intercepted by Weymouth. They have the ball. Nice pass. Mason Fazzoli, he makes a move. And there's Wolf Vector, tough to get around him. He gets the ball intercepted, and that will be a Brockton throw in. Wolf Vector leads it for Alessandro Marrera. We're under 15 of a one, Weymouth 1 0 lead. The ball's played short to Janelson DeBerto. There's Marrera. Marrera sends the ball, looking for a streak in Wadley Paul. Nice play, but Wadley has it, and there'll be a throw in again for the boxes. Let's see if Wolf Victor does. We'll see Wolf Victor throw this ball in as Brockton will send people into the box. The Weymouth defense does a great job of getting the ball out of there, don't they? They're a good team. They're mm -hmm. gonna, Brockton's going to need to really put some special touches on the ball to tie this game up. Wolf Victor's going to throw the ball in. He throws the ball deep into the box. The Brockton is there. Headed over. Uh, intercepted. Nice play by the Weymouth center back. Benicio Andre with the ball. Benicio sends the ball across. Looking for Weymouth. Intercepted by the Wildcats. And that's going to be number six, Mateus Souza. Uh, that's going to be a trip. And they'll have a foul on the boxes and a kick in for Weymouth. Good call by the referee that time. Gullah. As Weymouth gets four men up for substitutions. As they are going to keep guys fresh, and they're going to sit on this lead. And there is the kick. It's deep, and there is space there. Headed up by number 13 from Weymouth was Cameron Walty. The ball's on the far side of the field. A nice pass over. Walty with the ball again. Uh, good takeaway. by the boxes. Good defense. Ball sent over. There's Fabio. Look at Vega DeAndre, and it's set to by Weymouth again. 
The long kick is sent over, headed up by Weymouth, and it's controlled. There's Cameron Walty again, intercepted by Brockton, and a nice play by the boxer, Alessandro Tavares. There's Wadley Paul and Janelson Debrito, and that ball is just out of the way, and Weymouth will control it. Mason Fazzoli, the goal scorer. Nice move around Jason that Herrera. Fazzoli is smooth. Uh, what a move. He sends the ball deep and gets controlled by the Weymouth defense. Play back to their defense. The defense plays it over. To number three, Sean Flint. Sean Flint plays it up. There's Mason Fazzoli again. Terrific mm. move around Janelson Debrito. There's space. Let's see who has the ball, and that will be a... I think it's a Brockton throw-in. Wow. <laughs> Fazzoli put that ball under... Uh... His legs. The, the Brockton legs and almost had that. Uh, could have had a breakaway there. So we're going to get our first time out of the game as Weymouth makes substitutions. Brockton's brought Anthony Pina Santos on the field for Jason Marrera. So at about a 12-minute mark of the first half, what do we think Coach Furtado's talking about with his team over there, Orlando? Well, keep the pressure. I mean, they, they came, um, as we know, they could have they could have tied it, possibly taking the lead. Brockton's had the, the best chances, but... They're down one nothing. right Weymouth now. Weymouth has had a few good ones. The chances they've had have been dangerous. Mm -hmm. Mason Fazzoli has been the difference maker. A terrific goal early in the game and a perfectly placed shot. He's also combined with Bruno D'Souza in a second attempt that was just over the net on a terrific cross. Uh, Brockton knew that, that this was going to be a tough game. It's not going to be easy. Um, we still got plenty of uh, soccer left here. Um, so Brockton takes a timeout. They're going to regroup. And hopefully they keep the pressure, and I think it's just a matter of time. So the boxers and the Wildcats, we're here at Sergeant Jeffrey Mullen Field on the campus of Weymouth High School for this MIAA Round of 16 South Division I tournament game. Leo Genitasio, along with the Brockton legend, doesn't matter what part of the city you're in, you know him, Orlando Galveo, and the postman Mike Simmons on the production. The Wildcats with the Mason Fazzoli early goal, have a lead on the boxes, one nothing. as Brockton has tried. They've came back. They've had chances. Just been unable to put one in the back of the net to even this game out. So Weymouth has made wholesale substitutions. They're keeping the team fresh, Coach McGuckwin. So the ball's thrown in. Intercepted by Weymouth. And there is Alessandro Marrera. He sends the ball across the field. Controlled by Weymouth. There's Wolf Victor. Wolf Victor with the ball. Good move around. Cameron Welty. But there's the uh, interception. And just one tough touch, but that was a good defensive play by Weymouth. So Brockton will get the throw in on about the 10-yard line of their own side of the field. Usually don't see that. Uh, somebody taking the ball away from Victor. That's rare. So the throw in by Valdemar Rodriguez, controlled by the boxes. The ball sent up. Looking for Wadley Paul, but it is just out of his reach. Controlled by Weymouth. There's the cross. There's the header. And Brockton will have yeah. a foul. And Weymouth will have a kick at about the 35-yard line. They're moving fast on the Brockton side of the field. As the boxes send people back, Weymouth sends people up. They have two men back. The kick will be on the far side, about the 36-yard line of Brockton. And it is sent over the middle. It's a good one. There is a bunch of Weymouth Wildcats there. And it is by Alexandro Moreira yeah. with two Wildcats. Good and he play. comes out with the ball. Yeah. And that's going to be off Weymouth in a terrific play by Alexandro. Yeah, he took a shot at the end of that play as well. So the ball's kept alive. It is the throw into Fabio Fernandez, who heads it up, controlled by Weymouth. Bruno D'Souza with a terrific move. Still with the ball, back to himself. Intercepted by Janelson Debrito, and he sends it out, out of play. And that ball will be a Brockton throw in right around the 40-yard line of themselves. The throw in by Alexandro. He takes his time. And it's the number 17. Uh, and we got to play it down for Weymouth. Oh. Yeah, it's not good. That's, that's Mason good. Fazzoli. Hopefully it's just a cramp because Weymouth does not want to lose him. He you has been there. do not want to lose Fazzoli right now. He's going off right yeah. now, and he's been terrific all yeah. game long, the Weymouth goal scorer. Hopefully it's just a cramp, and he'll be able to come back. Yeah. So the throw in for Alexandro. He throws it back to Wolf Victor. Wolf Victor, time, time, takes his time, plays it across to Valdemir Rodriguez. Valdemir with space, sends it up. A good middle cross intercepted by Weymouth. And Weymouth controls the ball. That's number 19, Gabriel Rodriguez. Headed up, intercepted by Brockton. He heads it up, and there is Brockton again, once again. Headed up to Alexandro Moreira. He has the ball. Jason Marrera is cutting. 
The ball's kept away up to Weymouth's side of the field, and that's number 21, Tyler Miller. He sends the ball up, Benicio Andre. Benicio Andre kicks it up. There's Wadley Paul there, Wadley Paul. Yeah, that's offsides. So it's brought to the offsides. We're under 10 minutes of the first half of a 1-0 Weymouth lead. So Weymouth with the kick. They'll control the ball. Is the crowd. We got a good crowd here at this game. People piling in. Terrific kick to a streaking Gabriel D'Souza. Yeah, he's dangerous. It's intercepted. He has the header. And that's a nice play yeah, by he... Wilson Andre because that was dangerous. Yep. Kind of uh, headed it like a pop fly. It made it easy for the Brockton goalie to catch it. I think if he headed that to himself, he had room. Oh, so a nice yeah. one-touch pass. Alexandro Marrera with room. He thought uh -huh. he saw... Edgar DeAndre streaking, and he did not. It's just going to be intercepted for a Weymouth yeah, control of the ball. Yeah, that was kind of like, uh, you know, quarterback throwing the wide receiver the ball. The wide receiver yeah. goes one way, and the ball goes the other way. Don't want to see the boxes getting down on each other. It's too early for that. So Weymouth controls the ball. And there's Benicio Valdemir Rodriguez on the other side of the field. Nice play defensively as the Broxes have the ball taken over by Weymouth. Weymouth controls the ball. There's a cross looking for Bruno D'Souza. And good defensive play by Alex, Alexandro Marrera. I get it out of there. And he's been really good in the center mid for the part of the Brockton defense tonight. Play back to Benicio Andre. Intercepted again by Weymouth. As Weymouth has changed their defense a, nice a little pass. bit. A one touch looking for Bruno D'Souza. Oh, look at that pass. Weymouth with the ball near the box. They got room. Good defense huh. by Brockton. Good takeaway. That's a good takeaway right there. Good no call by the referee. Good defense attempted by Weymouth. So Brockton is another pass just out of the reach as Will Victor played a, just a little bit too much for number 17 as Weymouth will control the ball. they steadily taken over this game a little bit, Orlando. Mm -hmm. So the ball near the midfield headed up by the boxes, and there is number 17 for Brockton. He still has the ball. He has room. He makes a move. He has space. He makes another move. And it looked like yeah, that's don't, a, we're not going to get a call. That's a good no call as well. Um, momentum kind of led him to fall. That's a good no call by the referee. Well, if he made that call, yeah. it was a penalty kick. Yeah. So he was a dangerous area of the field. So a good no call by the official. Bo Calti sends it up, and that's Benicio Andre. As Brockton is, looks like they're a little flat-footed right now, Orlando. A lot of standing around. Let's see if the boxes can make some any adjustments Watch here. this guy. There's D'Souza. D'Souza. With good take Wolf away Victor. by Victor. Wolf Victor. Wolf Victor with the ball. Wolf Victor still sends the ball over to Wadley Paul. Wadley Paul plays it back to Janelson DeBrito. He sends yeah. it out. That was and deflected. That is looked like it was deflected, but uh, the ref's saying no. It's harmlessly going to go out of bounds yeah. at six and a half minutes of the first half as Weymouth makes other substitutions. Number four, six, and 15 coming in. Nate Pujos, Matea Souza, and... Danny Silver all back into the game. Bo Curley, he's been sensational in the first half from Weymouth. He's with the goal kick. The ball sent deep and a terrific kick. And there's Jason Marrera sending the ball up. Janelson DeBrito is in. And there's a little bit of space for Wadley Paul. Wadley Paul with the ball. Nice touch to himself. Goes around. Plays it back. And there it's over. And Brockton turns it over. And Alexandro Marrera. With three boxes there, headed away by Weymouth. Jason Marrera has time, makes a move. Intercepted by Weymouth, and there's Valdemar Rodriguez. Valdemar kicks it up, looking for Jason Marrera. Again, by Weymouth for a Brockton, for a Weymouth throw, and I apologize. So Weymouth with the throw. It is sent over, looking for D'Souza. Intercepted, back over, now Weymouth with the ball. It will be another Weymouth throw in on an out of bounds play by the Boxers. There's the throw. And there's a little bit of space there. Wolf Victor. Yeah, that's a push in the back. And we're going to get the off offsides with the flag going up. Either way, you would have gotten a foul. Uh, we got a final up in Brookline, Winchester. Three, Brookline, nothing. And uh, other action, Natick uh, leads Belmont one to nothing. So the Boxers. Wolf Victor plays the ball over to Valdemir Rodriguez. Valdemir will send the ball across looking for Wadley Paul. Wadley here. Paul with a little bit of room. He sends the ball over to Alessandro Marrera. Tough touch. Ugh. He sends the ball across, intercepted by Weymouth, and that ball's going to go out of bounds. Brockton looked like they had that something there. That was very there. unfortunate. 
Looked like they had something there. Ball went a little bit too far for Marrera. So the ball's played back to the boxers. Marrera with the ball. He sends the ball far across. And Bo Colley loses it. Brian the gets a goal. Gets a goal. Oh, what's the call? They're going to call offsides. Wow, Brockton doesn't get the call. I don't know if we have the replay, but that ball was sent back by That did not look like it was offsides. We do have the replay, but that might have been a bad call. Unbelievable. So the boxers, unfortunately, do not get the tie and goal. There's nothing you could do. You just got to keep on playing, but that Can't looked like it was call. onside. Can't change the call. Unbelievable. So... A misplay by Weymouth as they're fortunate not to get the tying goal against them. So Brockton plays the ball back, and let's see if this really sparks the boxes. Brockton sends the ball up. They have space. A tough touch by Janelson to Brito. Looked like they had numbers. And we'll get a Weymouth throw in. Uh, the ball hits, hits, the, hits the goalie. He, he muffles the, the, the ball, and the Brockton uh, player puts it in. So I don't know where you get offsides from that. So... The ball will be played away by the boxes. The official time will be kept on the field. We're close to three minutes. The boxes look like they had the tying goal, and that will be taken off the board on the offsides. Whoa. So, Brockton with the ball now. Wadley Paul has room. Good defense by Weymouth. Brockton in space. Wadley Paul still with the ball. Terrific move to himself. It's been all Brockton right now. Benicio Andre sends the ball up. There's D'Souza, D'Souza with the ball. Great defense by D'Souza. He sends the ball to Alessandro Marrera, good defense. Great. He takes it away. Oh, that was a physical yeah. play. That should yeah, be that's a foul. A, that's a clear foul, and he's lucky he's not getting a red card on that, Leo. That was a physical, physical yeah. play. Yeah, very physical play. Um, referee doesn't call it, but Brockton does gain possession. So That D'Souza is special, though. Regardless, he's, he's a great player. Alexandro Moreira will have the kick. We're under three minutes of the first half. Brockton down by one. There's the kick. It's deep, and it is crossed over, intercepted by great D'Souza, defense. and he gets rid of it. Baltimore Rodriguez is by himself back there. He kicks it deep. The ball is played back, and it's going to go right to Bo Carls. Carly. So we are at unofficial time in the first half. Brockton down by one. Looked like they had the tying goal. And once again, it was taken off the board with an offside call. Bo Carley sends the ball deep. Ball played by Weymouth. Janelson DeBrito is there. Kick taken away. And that is D'Souza. D'Souza has the ball again. Yeah, the very dangerous D'Souza. He has it. Moved to himself. Still has room. Intercepted by the boxes. D'Souza plays it back to number three, Sean Flynn. Sean Flynn plays it back. Good defense from Weymouth. They send the ball up. Intercepted by Janelson DeBrito. Brockton with a little bit of numbers here. But ah, just great defense that again. That tough first touch again. Intercepted again by Weymouth, but Brockton gets the ball. Ball sent over. Looking for Alexandro Marrera. He has a little bit of room. He touches to himself. Oh, oh he grabbed the shirt. the shirt. No call. That should be a wow. call. Play it again to Alexandro Marrero. Well, in soccer, you cannot grab people's shirt, but uh, the referees didn't call it. And uh, we keep on playing here, Leo. That actually could be a card, Orlando, because mm. that was a dangerous play for Brockton if they had space there. So no call. And we'll go uh, again under probably a minute, not including stoppage time. Bo Carley taking his time with Weymouth with a 1 nothing lead. It's been a terrific first half, Orlando. Mm -hmm. Up and down action here. Both teams. So there, we're going to get a shove in the back, not called. So the game that's starting to get physical out there. Brockton with Fabio Fernandez. Fabio Fernandez, he's intercepted by number 13, Cameron Walty. So the ball played back to Fabio. Benicio Andre intercepted ah, what by a number play. six. Terrific defense by Mateo Souza. And the ball's played back to Wilson Andre. He takes his time. He hits the ball over to Valdemar Rodriguez. Valdemar Rodriguez has the ball. He has lots of room. He sends the ball deep. And I think we're going to get the end of the first half. So early in the first half, Weymouth struck on a goal early by Mason Fazzoli. Brockton came back. Orlando had several attempts, a bunch of corner kicks. They were unable to tie the game. Weymouth kind of took over before Brockton looked like they had the tying goal taken off the board. 
Well, well, Brockton did have the tie and goal. Let's let's call it how it is. And the referee took it, deemed it as offsides. Uh, I don't know where he gets that from, but he made the call. You got to respect it. So Brockton's got to regroup, uh, go into the locker room, come out, come out with the same um, energy, and hopefully get the equalizer. So here at Sergeant Jeffrey Mullen Field on the campus of Weymouth High School, Leo Genitasio along with the Brockton legend Orlando Galveo, the postman Mike Simmons in the production, we're going to go into halftime with Weymouth 1, Brockton 0. <laughs>
coming back from halftime here at Sergeant Jeffrey Mullen Field on the campus of Weymouth High School, Leo Genitasio, along with the Brockton legend, Orlando Gaveo. Of course, we got the postman, Mike Simmons, on the production. He does it all. Orlando, we just talked to the guy from the Boston Globe and the, and the replay from the Her postman. Yep. Yeah, Brockton really, unfortunately, did it, got a bad call right there. It wasn't even actually close. We looked at it. No. But how do you regroup from something like that? Well, we saw it from numerous angles. It, it was a good goal. Unfortunately, it's not going to change. So how do you regroup? Uh, you got to keep firing away if you're Brockton. You can't, you can't dwell off that. It's not going to change. So you got to uh, – hopefully that builds a fire into Brockton. That gives them a spark, and uh, they can tie it up. We got to get the equalizer. Uh, without the equalizer, you can't win this game, right? So Weymouth – Cracked the scoreboard early in the game. Mason Frizzoli, the sophomore, with a terrific left foot. Looked like uh, Wilson Andrade had a play on it. Looked like his glove might have been a little bit wet, and the ball went off his glove into the back of the net. After that, the boxers had several corner kicks with a bunch of attempts to tie the game. Goaltender Bo Carley has been terrific for the Wildcats in net. And Weymouth actually had a couple other really good possessions between Vizzoli and Bruno D'Souza where they've been dangerous. Mm -hmm. But Brockton in the second half, Lando, what do you think Coach Furtado is saying to his club right now after that disappointing uh, missed call? Well, I'm pretty sure he knows that uh, that was a good goal. He's been around this uh, soccer for a very, very long time to know the rules. Unfortunately, uh, sometimes the refs can't be perfect. But... Um, He's probably telling them we, we got to keep firing away. Uh, we still got a lot of soccer left to play. We also got a score from Marciano Stadium. The Brockton football team is winning right now, 12-7, to over the Taunton Tigers. And we have a uh, Jaden Campbell not in the quarterback tonight. The second freshman playing. So good luck to the boxers wow. over there. As Go, we boxers. Are seconds away from second half action on this MI AA Division I round of 16 tournament game between rivals. The Weymouth Wildcats, the five seed, and the Boxers, the 12 seed. So Brockton has the ball, controls the play. They send the ball deep, and as Edgar DeAndre is there, Weymouth with bunches of guys back. Mm -hmm. They're going to sit on that lead. Bruno D'Souza in space. He's been tough. Controlled by the Boxers. Benicio Andre and Valdemar Rodriguez are there. That's Valdemar. The ball sent up, and Bruno D'Souza has room. Wolfland's Victor's there. Bruno D'Souza still with the ball. Still with two guys on him by himself. Another play. Still controls the ball. Terrific footwork. Terrific footwork. Yeah. And that looks like it will be a throw in for Weymouth. Mm. So Weymouth will send players forward. Oh, well, actually, we got a foul. Pick. So well, it looked like he called. slipped. Jesus. Unbelievable. So Brockton. The ball sent over to number 11 from Weymouth. Number 11 oh, Good takeaway that time. And that was Mason Fazzoli, the goal yeah. scorer. And that ball will be a... Yeah, that went off Brockton. This referee down the corner hasn't had the greatest game. As will be a throw in for Weymouth. The ball sent deep. And it's headed out by Brockton. And number nine from Weymouth will be Jack Brady. Jack Brady sends the ball in. Intercepted by Wolf Victor. Wolf Victor is there. And the ball is sent high and deep and out as Weymouth number three. Sean Flynn, the center D back, sends it out. And that ball will be out of bounds and Brockton will get a throw in. Like to see some urgency here from the boxes. As we'll see Valdemar Rodriguez. Valdemar throws the ball in. And there's Edgar DeAndre. He haven't said his name a bunch tonight. The ball oh, is nice intercepted. Nice kick away that. Bruno D'Souza. Bruno D'Souza has the ball. Good play. Nice touch pass to number 18, Michael Primo. And that ball goes out of bounds for a Brockton throw in. And there's Valdemar Rodriguez. And that's Pina Santos. Number 17 for Brockton sends the ball back to Valdemir. Valdemir still has the ball. Still has the ball. Touch pass to Pina Santos. He sends the ball in across. Nice ah, defensive play, play by Weymouth. Brockton with the ball. Good defense again by Weymouth. That's number 22, Gabrielle Ray. Brockton with the ball. There's Benicio Andre sending the ball deep, looking for Fabio. Fabio with the ball deep in the corner, cutting the ball across, sends the ball looking uh, no for a boxer, and there's no one there. So Weymouth with the ball, and they let that ball smartly go out of bounds, and they'll have a throw in. 
Yeah, great job that time by Primo just to let that ball go out. Weymouth gets gains possession. So the throw in for the Wildcats, intercepted by Valdemir. Kick mm. back, controlled by number nine from Weymouth, Jack Brady. There's Gabriel D'Souza. The ball sent up. Proctor gets the ball out of a difficult area. And there is Bo Carley. Bo Carley will control the ball. Everybody back for Weymouth. So we're down under 37 minutes of the second half. And Brockton is down. So Brockton with some space. Pina Santo sends the ball in to number 17. He has the ball. Turns, he sends the ball to Pina Santo. Send a touch pass. The ball's crossed. Ah. And there's Bo Carley in a terrific job coming across and not letting that ball going to a streaking. Yeah, no one DeAndre, was there. Even if, he even if he doesn't get there, that ball goes out of bounds. No one there for Brockton. Not taking any stop. chances. Yep. So the ball is correct. Deep. Number two from Brockton is Valdemar Rodriguez. He kicks heads the ball up. Fabio Fernandez and number 17 is. Fabio has some room. A nice touch pad to Pina Santos. Yeah, yeah, the ball will go out of bounds for a Weymouth throw-in. Yeah, that should be off on Brockton that time. So the ball connected from Weymouth. And there's D'Souza again. Valdemar Rodriguez sends the ball up. And there's Jason Marrera. Jason Marrera is there. Nice play headed up to Gabriel D'Souza. It's a nice touch pass uh, in the middle pass. of the field. Another oh, one intercepted by Brockton. As the box is defensively. There's Wolf Victor sent away by Benicio Andre. Out of trouble. As the box is number 17 is there. Oh, oh that... boy, that's a dangerous play. Wow. I don't know what the call is. He put his be. arm, he put his arm, and um, he hit the Brockton player square in the in the in the head. Very he dangerous him. play, and uh, again, no call. So that's just gonna be a foul. No card as Brockton will control the play as Valdemar Rodriguez wants to send the ball deep. Uh, Brockton's Brockton is they, they, they're keeping their composure though. They're not falling into trap, they're keeping their composure. Like they should. Benicio sends the ball. That's a cross. Looking deep. Behind. They got someone behind. Good stop that time. And the flag stayed down. Yep. So, Bo Carley will send the ball up. Weymouth hasn't yeah. had a lot of chances. They've taken advantage of the ones they've had. Get decepted by the boxes. Nice touch move up the middle. And the ball's going to be turned over back to Weymouth. Good pass up. To Gabriel That's D'Souza. a nice pass right there. And there's room for the Wildcats. Oh, just a little bit too far. D'Souza is very crafty on the passing. Oof. And that was Benicio Andre who got rid of it. As we'll get a Brockton throw in. As we creep under 35 minutes of a 1 0 lead in the second half, Weymouth over the boxes. Benicio's back. Benicio with the ball. He is going to keep, he's got room. He has time. Sends the ball up. Looking for Wadley Paul. Intercepted by Weymouth. Benicio has the ball again. Has the ball in the middle of the field. Brockton in desperate need of that tie and goal. Uh. Weymouth playing good defense. Gabriel D'Souza has room. He still has room. Gets around. What Will a move. Fetka. Touches to himself. Another terrific uh, move. Good takeaway. Intercepted by the boxes. And that should be another. That's an open yeah. field. Another thing that yeah, could have been Yeah, putting his hands up. But a clear trip. Easy call. Brockton ball. So if the ref is not going to pull the card out, there's going to be no reason for Weymouth not to continue fouling. So the boxes, there's Benicio Andre. He sends the ball up, and that ball is going to be a goal aimlessly to the goalie, Bo Carley. Bo plays it up to his defender. We're under 35 of the second half of a 1-0 Weymouth lead. Nice touch pass, and Wilson Andre will be there. So he plays it over to Valdemir Rodriguez, Wolf Victor. Wolf Victor has the ball. He sends the ball up, intercepted by Weymouth, number 13, Cameron Walty, in a terrific play. Number 17 from Brockton. With time, in space, sends it back to Valdemir Rodriguez, up to Fabio Fernandez. Fabio, nice touch pass, looking for Pina Santos, just out of his reach, and that's good defense, intercepted by Brockton. Pina Santos with the ball. And there is Fabio. Fabio with the ball again. Plays it back to Valdemir. Valdemir Rodriguez. Touch ah, pass intercepted away. by Weymouth. The ball sent out of difficult trouble. Wolf Victor's here. Wolf Victor got room. Has room. Nice what pass, a pass to Pina Santos. Pina Santos sends it across. Uh, a little bit too Just high. over the net. Yeah. Primo and Looney has been all over the field defensively for Weymouth today. They're having a great game. 
So again, we're at Brockton Community Access. You can catch us on the Brockton channels. Leo Genitasio, along with the Brockton legend, Orlando Galveo, the postman, Mike Simmons in the production. Boxers and the Wildcats here in second half action in the MIAA State Tournament. The boxes with a little bit of room in. There's Pina Santos. A nice touch pass up to number 17. will go off Weymouth for a Brockton throw-in. The throw-in will be by number two, Ben Valdemar Rodriguez. Valdemar plays it back. It's off mm. his face. And that ball will be controlled. And Wolf Victor's back there with Gabriel D'Souza. Yeah, Gabriel D'Souza. And we'll get the offside call. D'Souza just hangs back there and waits for the opportunity, doesn't he? So Brockton controls the ball on the far side of the field, and that looks like it is Alexandro Marrera. There's Jason Marrera. Benicio Andre, Benicio Andre. Brockton trying to matriculate it up the field. The ball sent far across the field. Intercepted by Weymouth. Brockton intercepts the ball with a little bit of space. They send the ball over. Brockton sends the ball across. Intercepted. There's a little bit of room there. He touches it to himself. Oh, great defense that time. And Weymouth, once again, their defense standing strong. Yep. And that ball will go out of bounds for a Brockton throw-in. Valdemar Rodriguez. And we'll get Will Victor on the throw. Brockton is going, goes to the 30-minute mark of the second half. They're down by one. Will Victor has been dangerous in these situations. He throws it hard. The ball goes across. Wolf is there. Let's see what he does. Touches it to himself. Goes around. Look at this. Let's see if Look he at does this. Cross. The ball goes across. Yeah. And Bo Carley with another save. And he controls the ball. Carley solid in net. Easy stop for him. Kicks it away. Weymouth up one nothing. Misplay by Voldemort Rodriguez. Gabriel D'Souza in space. Brockton cannot give up another goal. So the ball is, it's going to be out of bounds. A throw in for Weymouth. Gabriel D'Souza. The ball's left for number nine, Jack Brady. So Weymouth in no rush to put the ball in play. The ball's thrown across. Intercepted, the ball's going to get through. Dangerous area, kicked away by Benicio Andre. Gabriel D'Souza's there, Brockton, two of the guys standing mm, around. Gets it out. They just get the ball out, and the ball's played back. Ah. Brockton streaking, but number three back there is Sean Flynn. Sean Flynn plays it back to Bo Carley, and he kicks it out of trouble. Janosin DeBrito kicks the ball up. There's Pina Santos. Good defense from Weymouth. The ball's played over, and there is... Fabio Fernandez on the far side of the field to Alessandro Tavares. Good center ball. Brockton with a little bit of room. Great play by Carly. And a terrific play by the goaltender. Woo! Awesome, awesome, awesome play by the goalie to get it out of harm's way. So Brockton. And we're going to get, I don't know what the call is. So the boxers looked like they had the tying goal. Unfortunately, it was waved off by a missed non-call. Or we'd be in a 1-1 game. But the boxers have to keep their composure to get the equalizer here. At least try to get it into extra time. Yep. So the boxers, a lot like last year, Lando. They lost one nothing, couldn't get the tying goal. Mm -hmm. And a game they controlled against Conquer Carlisle. Yep. Coach Furtado's hoping the same result does not happen. So the boxers, with some room, the ball's played over to Fabio Fernandez. Fabio has room, has room. Nice touch pass. Ah. To number uh, 17. A little bit too that, far. He had something there if that ball yeah, was. Too many hard yeah. one touches to themselves. Intercepted by Weymouth. And Weymouth is uncontrolled. Brockton controls uh, the ball. And that ball looks like it's going to be Baltimore Rodriguez over there. Brady, another guy that's been all over the field. Great defensive play that time. Intercepted. There's Pina Santos. So the play is getting physical as we'll get a foul on Weymouth. It looks like it's on Brockton, Leo, right? Yep, the foul will be on Brockton. So Weymouth in no rush to get the ball in play. That will be number six, Mateo Souza. Tie in a shoe. You're going to see them taking their time. I apologize. That's Joe Looney, the senior captain. Taking his time, taking his time. They're not in any rush. Joe sends the ball. That looks like a really good kick, and it is intercepted mm, by the defense. boxes. And the ball sent back, and number 21 is there, Tyler Miller. Ah, that looks like it was offside. And Waldemar Wilson-Andrade with the ball. 
Weymouth with only a couple shots on net tonight, and they yep. have one goal. It's only the, but that's that's the one that matters right now. Valdemar Rodriguez plays the ball off to Benicio Andrade. Benicio plays the ball up, and there is Janilson Debrito. Janilson Debrito, what a tough touch. And that ball goes far, and there's Pina Santos with a little bit of space. He has room. He has room. He goes by him. He makes another room, and that yeah. will be a Brockton throw-in. Again, I think that was Brady again with a great defensive play for Weymouth. And that was Benice, uh, Anthony Pina Santos with a nice touch to himself. And we'll have Wolf Victor, who's going to throw that ball across into a dangerous area as the boxers are looking at a 1-0 deficit at 27 minutes of the second half. Brockton Wolf with the ball. Here. And we'll see a substitution. We'll see, is that Manny Lopes? Manny Lopes on, and we'll see Janosin DeBrito come off. Wolf throws the ball. That ball is near the box. Headed back over behind. Brockton with the ball. One touch to himself. Nice defense from Weymouth, uh, and they send defense. the ball out of trouble. Gabriel D'Souza, good touch to himself. Intercepted by the boxes, and that ball looks like it's heading out on Weymouth. Oh, Brockton, I apologize. It will be a Weymouth throw. On every break, Weymouth tucking their socks in, tying their shoelaces, mm -hmm. and no rush. Too early to do break. that, though. So there's the throw. Intercepted by, that is, Valdemir Rodriguez. Ball played over to the middle uh, of the field. Aaron pass. And there's a good touch. Gabriel D'Souza's in space. <laughs> Wolf Victor was there. Closing speed is terrific. Oh, uh, look just, at that. Wolf is just, like, just too give good me defensively. That. Touch pass up, and there is Anthony Pina Santos. The ball played up. I think that's yeah. – is that Edgar DeAndre playing number 17? Because I don't see number 10 out there, Orlando. Yeah, the captain, Joe Looney, having nothing of it, puts it out of bounds. So Edgar DeAndre could be number 17 tonight. We're going to call him number 17 because it looks like him and there's no number 10 out there. So the ball kicked up, and there is Gabriel D'Souza going over Wolf Victor. And the ball will be out for a Brockton throw in for Waldemar Rodriguez. And that will be kicked out again. Valdemir taking his time, taking his time. There's Pina Santos, back to Valdemir. Valdemir with the ball, sends the ball across the field for Benicio Andre. Benicio Andre has room, has time. Nice touch pass across the field. The ball sent across the middle, looking for Fabio Ah, Fernandez. great defense. And Weymouth there once again. There's the one touch, the pass. Brockton has some room. Fabio Fernandez. There's the pass. Brockton with more room. The ball sent across, and that is ah. a nice, easy Couldn't play get for nothing Ball on Valley. it. Couldn't get nothing on it. So we go under 25 minutes here. Brockton Community Access. Catch us on the Brockton channels. The Wildcats in the boxes. one nothing Weymouth. Yeah, we might so have a two-on-one here. There's the pass. Gabriel D'Souza in space. Nice what a pass! Ball. And what a save! save. Rebound and score! The goal. Just an outstanding back pass. Goalie made the first save. Rebound was put back of the net. And now Brockton faces an uphill battle down two to nothing. So Brockton's had a few times tonight where they've been out of place, and Gabriel D'Souza has really made them pay with some finesse. As Brockton looks like, it, I hope it's not insurmountable, mm -hmm. but the way things are looking tonight, Brockton's yeah. going to need something special. Well, uh, just an unbelievable pass. Was that D'Souza? Oh, is he smooth? Wilson Andre made a terrific Oof. stop on the first shot, but there was number four. I thought that was number four who got the uh, header in to put it in. As Weymouth now has a 2 nothing lead. So Brockton... We'll have to be sending people forward down by two. Under 25 left. Now Brockton uh, definitely got to do something here, Leo. So Brockton has the ball. They're going to send people forward. The ball sent across. Here's a streaking player with a little bit of room. Brockton with the room. There's the ball. Weymouth's got everyone back. The ball sent in. Uh, and Bo Carley safe. is there again. He's made numerous stops tonight. All right. He's been like a wall um, so far tonight. As we're at 23 minutes of the second half. Weymouth up 2-0. Leo Genitasio along with the legend, Orlando Galveo. Of course, he does it all. The postman, Mike Simmons on the production. So that goal was Cam Walty. 
on a terrific play from D'Souza, and I believe that was Fazzoli. The three. Just an absolute beautiful back pass. A bullet that was uh, was a great save by the Brockton goalie, but he led it a rebound, and uh, Weymouth was able to put it in, and 2-0. Uh, so Hermenia Furtado will call a timeout. Orlando down 2-0. What are we talking about in the huddle right now? You got to get one goal. You got to get can't one goal. Can't get the second without getting the first. All right, you can't, you can't, you, you certainly can't give up another goal. You got to get a it's very big, still got a lot of time left, 22 minutes left in this game. Um, you got to get one goal at a time. And we talked about it the year Brockton won the state championship. They were down 2 nothing to Longmeadow in the second <laughs> half before they put an onslaught on a 5-2. to two. This Brockton team has shown that they can score in spurts. Yep. Uh, different scenario, obviously. Uh, they had 40 minutes and now a little bit of half of that. Uh, Weymouth, has, uh, the defense has been so good, so it's going to be a tough battle. But uh, Brockton, you know, is capable of, you know, tying this up. So we have a game at Marciano Stadium. Brockton is still up 12-7 in the fourth quarter. Taunton driving inside the Brockton 20. Mm. So Brockton in that game, Orlando, the, the inability to get extra points and two-point conversions has really been an issue for them. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. back here, Brockton outside the timeout. As Weymouth have been, you know, they've been the steadier, more consistent yeah, they're, team tonight. They're, they're, they're they deserve a, the lead. Yes, they're a solid team. Make no mistake. Uh, um, I know Brockton got... You know, might have had a goal taken away, but take nothing away from Weymouth. This is a great team. They are extremely talented in the front end, and they are solid in the back end mm -hmm. with a terrific goalkeeper. Absolutely. So, Wolf Victor, we're at 22 minutes of the second half. The Wildcats, two. The Boxers, zero. Wolf Victor sends the ball up, and that's intercepted by number 15 from Weymouth. And that is Danny, De Danny Silva. Pina Santos intercepted by Weymouth. Number 20 from Brockton is Alessandro Tavares. He sends the ball up. Ah, look at this. Wadley Paul and a terrific defensive play by number nine, Jack Brady. Oh, is he related to Tom Brady? Oh, what a play. So Mr. There's Brady. The play. Manny Lopes is there. Manny Lopes sends it across. And they're looking for Wadley Paul streaking, and there's nothing doing. Wolf Victor is back. Wolf Victor with the ball. He sends it over to Benicio Andre. Benicio Andre kicks the ball up, back over to the boxers, sent back up, and Brockton with the ball. Edgar DeAndre, Edgar DeAndre. And there's Alessandro Tavares. He sends the ball. Manny Lopes, Manny Lopes, what a nice play. Keeps the ball alive. Edgar DeAndre with the ball. He sends the ball. Nice touch pass in. Uh, Looking for Fabio hard. Fernandez. And behind. And that ball will go out of play for a Weymouth goal kick. We're at about 21 minutes of the second half. Weymouth leading 2-0. to zero. So Weymouth in no rush to get this ball back into play. The goalkeeper, Bo Carley, has been terrific. The crowd has been piling in, and it's a terrific one here tonight. Here at Mullen Field in Weymouth. Bo Carley with the kick. It's a solid one right down the middle of the field. Uh, nice header that. up. And there's Wolf Victor. Wolf Victor taking his time. Still with the ball. Wolf Victor never panicking. With the ball. And there's good defense. And that's going to be good defense by number six, Mateus uh, this, this referee in the side. Um, he's had a tough night. He, um, that ball was he's off. been very, that very ball, tough. That um, ball was off Weymouth. That ball was off Weymouth. But. So the throw in will be for number nine by Weymouth. Is there in no rust? That will be Jack Brady. Jack Brady on the throw. Mm. Taking his time, taking his time. We're under 20 minutes. The throw goes across the box. And that ball is touched over Good to class. Weymouth. And there's the ball. Good defense by boxes. As they've been flat-footed a bunch of times, Orlando, in their own, in their own box. Weymouth, Gabriel D'Souza. Nice touch Look pass to number 17. And that's just over the net. Again, D'Souza making something happen with his uh, craftiness. Beautiful header. Almost uh, paid dividends there. It's really unfortunate Brockton had that goal call back. The game might have been played at a different pace. Mm -hmm. And Wayne has been able to take advantage of Brockton's aggression here in the second half. So Manny Lope sends it up. There's Alessandro Tavares. Nice touch uh, pass. And Weymouth defense. once again defensively. Brockton again with control of the ball. 
Sent back up, and there is Brockton on the far side of the field. Crud over the ball, looking for Pina Santos. He has the ball. Ooh. And that was a nice effort by him trying. That was Wadley Paul yeah. trying to redirect that into the net. Kind of hard to get that. It's kind of like a pop fly. Couldn't place it. And um, couldn't get nothing on the kick. <clears throat> so at Marciano Stadium, Brockton down 13 to 12 in the fourth quarter. Let's see what the freshman quarterback can come back and give Brockton a lead. So Bo Carley plays it up. There's the header by the boxes. Weymouth looks like they're sending more players forward than I thought they would. So control, nice header by Weymouth. Weymouth still with the ball. There's number eight with a nice move. Controls the ball, takes the ball deep. That's Nolan Rennie. Brockton takes control of the ball. The ball sent across. Unable to get it for a Weymouth throw in as we're under 20 minutes here in the second half. Brockton controls the ball. The kick up, controlled by now Weymouth. Sent across the field, and there is no boxes there. Closed on by Pina Santos. And Brockton takes the ball. The ball, there's Wadley Paul. Wadley Paul. Nice touch pass to Wolf Victor. Wolf Victor to Benicio Andre. Benicio Andre plays it up. Alessandro Tavares. We, Benicio Andre moving forward from his defensive position. There's Benicio with a little bit of space. Good play by Weymouth. Wadley Paul. Wadley Paul kicks to himself. Sends a ball over to Pina Santos. Pina Santos, the left footer, sends the ball in deep. And that is controlled easily by Bo Carley. Yeah, Bo Carley's like, nah, not, not, not like that. That's not going to fool me. Easy catch for him. And Bray, uh, Wayman gets the free kick. So the ball now played deep. Weymouth with Wolf Vector. Smoothly what transitions it to the forward to the aggressive offensive part of the field. Nice oh, good take away. Pass, and there's defense again by Weymouth. Wolf Victor with the ball. Weymouth intercepts again. Wolf comes back defensively, and Weymouth is the Souza with Alessandro Tavares there. And Jason Marrera. Weymouth controls the ball. Brockton defensively will kick it out for a Weymouth throw in. It was over under 17. Weymouth leads 2 0. As Brockton season looks like it is going to come yep. to an end unless Brockton can produce now, some magic now, here. Now, if you're Brockton, you kind of kind of see them looking at the clock here. Got to send people forward. Yep. So the boxes play the ball back to Wilson Andrade. Wilson Andrade has a goal kick. He plays it over to Valdemar Rodriguez. Valdemar Rodriguez sends the ball deep. There's Fabio. Fabio plays it backwards. Kicked up again by Jason Marrera. Wadley Paul's here. Good defense from Weymouth. There's Jason Marrera. Jason Marrera has a little bit of space. He sends the ball deep. Brockton has sending people across the net. There's a nice touch pass to Fabio Fernandez. Fabio Fernandez. Mm. And Weymouth is there defensively. And Brockton, good defense by Jason Marrera to Pino Santos. To Edgar DeAndre. Edgar DeAndre with the ball. Edgar DeAndre, nice touch. He gets around one man, two men. Yeah, they and get a corner out of it. Corner out of Good it. hustle that time by DeAndre to uh, force a corner. Brockton's first of the second half, I believe. So there's the corner. Goes in. Ah, well, great like defense. It might have been a hand, handball. So no call. Now I think he got that one, Leo. He was able to get that. Uh, great defense well, again the boxes by Wimbledon. thought it was, so they're not going to get that call. So Brockton, the throw in will be by number 20. Alessandro Tavares. Alessandro Tavares will leave it for Pina Santos. We're under 15 in the second half. Brockton Community Access, Leo Genitasio, along with Orlando Galveo. The postman, Mike Simmons, always on the production. Brockton Community Access. So the ball's played deep, and there is Valdemar Rodriguez. Nice mm. pass, and there's a nice touch to himself. And the ball's over to Edgar DeAndre. Edgar DeAndre, what room? Sends it across. Oh, what oh, a good defensive good, play. Blue defensive play by Wow. Ryan. Brockton had two players there. There's D'Souza. He's with Benicio nah, Andre. He's gonna get. He's going to get D'Souza on a push. So 
so Brockton with the ball. The ball that's, sent up, and that is going to be That's going to be a corner. That should be a corner. Boxes. Brockton sensing urgency right now. A couple of corners in the last uh, minute. There's the play. Brockton with a little bit of space, and we'll wow. get no call. And the ball played back to Brockton defensively. they got to send people forward. The ball sent up. Great defense by Weymouth. D'Souza's there, and he is going to take control of the ball. Very smooth. Look at that up pass. Up to Fasoli. Fasoli with the ball. He goes right around him. And we'll get That's going to be a Brockton foul. So Brockton starting to get frustrated. Yeah, that's a good call. Uh, the Brockton uh, player uh, pushed him. So it could be a tough night in boxer country tonight with the football team and soccer team both losing right now, Orlando. Mm. So the soccer team now looking to get back on the board. He had one need a goal to get back in this game. We're under 13. The ball sent forward. Brockton with some space there, and that is Zetchin Olsen Diverto. It's on yeah. the far side. If you of the can field. see, they have sent Victor uh, up um, from the defensive end onto the offensive end. There's the throw in. The referee stopped the play. Oh, that, that misplay, miscall by the referees doesn't take away from Weymouth how well they played here tonight. Uh, they deserve very, to, very well. They deserve Sousa, to have this lead right now. As the, uh, it's a good team. Fazzoli, the deep oh, and the, the back end, the Looney, Brady, Brady just they're terrific. So the ball sent up, intercepted by Benicio Andre. Benicio sends the ball over. The ball intercepted, and there's some space there for Weymouth. He gets around him. Uh, they he got has something room. here, Leo. They room. There's a nice touch pass. Fazzoli with oh, the ball. Oh, good defense. And that is Alessandro Tavares, defensively, who came back. Brockton with the play. Nice play by Benicio. Benicio with the ball. Brockton's going to have to send people forward. There's Wolf Victor. Wolf Victor makes a nice move, intercepted by Weymouth. And the ball's played four. Weymouth with some numbers into the box. There's D'Souza. D'Souza shoots. Ooh, uh, what a nice save by... Yeah. Wilson Andrade. So Weymouth will get a corner. Marked a very fortunate right there. There wasn't three nothing. Goalie was just able to get that and deflect it up. But they get a corner. So Weymouth corner kick. Of course, no rush. They're up by a couple. The corner will be taken. It looks like that will be by number 11, Mason Fazzoli. Mason Fazzoli, terrific kick into the box, defended by the boxes. There's Edgar DeAndre. Edgar DeAndre plays it back to Fabio Fernandez. Edgar DeAndre. Oh, that's a dangerous play. That's a really dangerous play. We'll see what the referee's going to call here. So number nine defensively, Jack Brady right there, took his legs out. Yeah, he's going to get a card on that. No doubt about that. I'm not surprised it's not a red card. It's going to be a yellow card, but he took his legs right out. So good uh, aggressive tackle is going to be called for a foul as the boxes uh, will have a, their free kick at about the Weymouth 40. The first player booked tonight will be number nine, Jack Brady, who's been sensational defensively for Weymouth tonight. Number 15 for the box is Alexandro Marrera. Marrera. Sends the ball far and deep across the field. Wolf Victor's there. The header, it goes harmlessly to Bo Carley, who once again gobbles it up and will control the play from his back end. Yeah, Bo Carley's like, this is too easy for me. He able to corral it. Brockton it's really hasn't kick. had any real testers tonight. They've had a couple that have missed the net, but most of his saves have been yep. balls that he's controlled without yep. letting the ball go. The one he did let go, Brockton scored, but it was called back. Yep. So Wolf Victor defensively gets the ball from D'Souza. Benicio Andre turns it over, and there's the kick controlled by Wilson Andre. The ball sent away by the boxes here. The ball played up to Edgar DeAndre. Edgar DeAndre has been quiet tonight. He has space. He plays the ball across. Sends the ball far across, and there's a touch pass to himself. Is that Janelson to Brito? Ah, uh, you got Victor there. Ovi sends the ball into the box. Uh, another great Weymouth defensive play by Weymouth. Just kicks it away. Yep. 
So the ball's kept alive by the boxes to the center part of the field, and there's Valdemir Rodriguez. Valdemir has space. Valdemir sends the ball, and that's just a little not, bit too far. You know, they're just not in sync tonight. Mm -hmm. That ball's going to go out of play, and Weymouth will control it on yeah. a goalie kick. We're under 10 minutes here. They're not in sync, Leo, but let's give Weymouth. Uh, Weymouth has a lot to do with they that. They sure do. You know? They're very disciplined, very uh, good defensively, good, very good offensively as well. So at Marciano Stadium, Brockton has turned the ball over on downs. We, uh, Taunton with a 13-12 to 12 lead. When was the last time Taunton beat Brockton in football? Actually, oh, they man. did. They did. They did. They did beat Brockton a couple years okay. ago. And, uh, I stand corrected. You would know that after not beating them for game. 100 years. So the boxes. Although football. it happened in a non-playoff. So the boxes <laughs> looked. At, when was the last time Brockton lost eight games in a season? How do you feel that? about these non-playoff games, Leo? And football. I think the kids deserve to play mm -hmm. football, but mm -hmm. I don't think playoffs shall be until the end of the season. Uh, playoff games before Thanksgiving make no sense to me. You know, it's it's very interesting to Everett, a team. Uh, I believe they went 8-1, 7-1, didn't make the playoffs. Crazy, that's crazy. Mm. That's crazy. You don't win eight football games and not, especially when you're Everett, when you've won a, a 10 Division One Super right. Bowls, 11 altogether since 19, what, 97? That's ridiculous. So a ball kicked up by Carl. He's not taking, uh, he's taking his time. Ball down, nice play forward ahead. And Brockton will have the ball, and there's Tavares. Tavares sends the ball looking for Edgar DeAndre. Weymouth's got five guys back. Edgar DeAndre sends the ball in space to Fabio. Fabio plays the ball up. Janosin to Brito. He has a little bit of room. Janosin with the ball, nice move. Has the ball again. Takes the ball, nice touch pass, and Brockton just can't get Again, Weymouth solid defensively. Gets the ball out of there. That's been the story of the night. Like to see them take a shot in that box and land a little bit too much passing. Mm -hmm. So the ball played up to the boxers, and that is turned over, and that's going to go to the far side of the box. And Wilson Andrade's got to be moving fast. We're under eight minutes. Brockton down by two. Oh, another tough touch by mm -hmm. the boxes, and that ball will go out of bounds. As Brockton's just been out of sync all night. Yep. You know what, Orlando, we talk about home field. It, it's important, even in soccer, it's important to have home field. Just the comfortability of playing in your own field. Yeah. Quick out-of-town score, Natick and Belmont tied at one and going into OT. Good luck to both those teams. The winner of this one will play Ludlow, who is a double-digit state title winner mm. over the past century. So Brockton in control of the ball. Brockton has the ball. Brockton sends the ball up. And there's Edgar DeAndre. Brockton's got to send guys forward. Well, all the Weymouth guys back. And that's just an easy play. Yep. Too many guys back, not enough guys forward. The ball sent forward. Brockton, there's Edgar DeAndre. Edgar intercepted. A nice and defensive again. play. And it looked like that was Joe Brady again. Uh, Looney. Or Joe Looney. I Looney, apologize. the captain. Again, solid defensively for the Wildcats. That's been the story. So Weymouth on the throw. And that is controlled by the boxes. Edgar DeAndre, got to get the ball towards the net. Over to number nine for Brockton, who is Nevin Fonts. Nevin Fonts is intercepted. And there's D'Souza. And that's, yeah, that's be a, a push foul. in the back. That's, that's a foul. That's a push in the Everyone's back, and that's another keep, elbow that's, by D'Souza. Got to keep their composure. Yeah. I know Brockton's frustrated, but they got to keep their composure. Right, you, and if you're D'Souza, you're up two to nothing here. You you don't wanna you don't wanna get into this, right? He did get pushed in the back. He did he did he did get an elbow to the back. Obviously, he's not happy about that. But uh, let's uh. All this does it take more time yeah. off the clock for the boxes. Come on, boys, let's just let's just play some soccer here. So Wayne will have the free kick, and then I, you know, no rush to do it. Yeah, Brockton's got to keep that composure, you know. Good kick across, and that ball is out of bounds, and it will be a Weymouth throw. We're on six minutes here at the Mullen Field on the campus of Weymouth High School. Weymouth, Massachusetts, Division I, round of 16, the fifth-seeded Weymouth Wildcats, and the 12th-seeded boxes. Weymouth ahead, 2-0. Leo Genitasio, along with, you know him, Lando Galveo, the postman Mike Simmons on the production. The box is down by two. 
And there's another missed touch and an easy mm -hmm. throw in. As this game looks like it is close to being over for the Boxers. Yeah, five minutes left. Possible uh, five minutes left in Brockton season. You know, Orlando, it's been fun doing these games with you. Hopefully we'll be back during basketball season. Hopefully. These past few weeks have been, you know, me and you talk about the games all year long on the phone. We do it on <laughs> TV now. Except some of the expletives that we use, we can't say over the TV. So... <laughs> Brockton controls the ball. The ball is going to be up to the boxes, and that is Jason Marrera, Joseph Tomberto, in terrific defense once again. And that's going to be Weymouth's Rachi Kaki across, who sends the uh, ball. We got to play it down for, for Weymouth, and uh, he just went down by himself. I believe that's the sensational Faz, uh, Fazoli. So I don't know what the fans, I think one of the Brockton players tried to lift him up and he pushed him back down, so. Right. The ref's gotta take control of this game. Right. And, and you really don't wanna see the fans get into this too. Let the kids, they're just kids playing out there. Just let the kids play. The, the fans are getting frustrated, but. So Brockton will have a red card. Yeah. And that will be. A little, Brock is getting a little unraveled here. So that will be, I think, Anthony Pina yep. Santos. So whatever chance Brockton had, they're going to be playing with 10 men now. He sent off the field. I think frustrated with yep. the uh, player on the field who went down on his own, he thought, and he wanted to get him back into play. It was probably too physical with him. Well, so, the, the second guy is the, is the guy that always gets caught, right? Sure, sure. So... So good luck to the Wildcats as they're going to probably win this game, head on to the next round against Ludlow. They're a terrific team. They've played sensational soccer here tonight. Sure have. Um, Well-deserved. They've been the better team here, make no mistake. Uh, they've been the better team here Rockers tonight. Rockers control play yep. at time. Yep. They just haven't had those chances, just like last year against Concord Carlisle, the tournament. Right. You have to be able to take advantage of any chances you have in front of the net. Right. Brockton in the past couple seasons in tournament play, just unable to do that, and the games when necessary needed. you got to score goals to yeah, win, can't win games. You can't win a game 0-0. Zero to zero. And that's what Weymouth has done. They've, they've had a lot of chances. They've made their chances, and um, up to 0 So we're still waiting to get the ball in play here. The referees, you know, Orlando, if they called some cards earlier in this game, right. I don't think the out-of-control play would have happened. They let the physical place happen in the first half. And a lot of times when you have a Brockton team out there, they're, you know, Brockton's got some tough city kids. They're yep. chippy kids. They don't like losing. Yep. They should have taken that same for Weymouth. Another, yep. you know, it's school that has a lot of tough kids that are, have played in high leverage games. If the referees don't take control of that game early, right. you're going to have some issues. So number 20 Wadden coming off for the boxes will be Jason Marrero. Yeah, and the fans, the Weymouth fans, they, they sense that the victory is moments away. Uh, we're on the Weymouth side, and they're very, very happy of what's going on right now. So we and are they on, should be. I'm sorry, Orlando. We're on stoppage time right here at... Mullen Field, Weymouth, Massachusetts, the campus of Weymouth High School. The Wildcats, two, Brockton, zero. Leo Genitasio, along with the Brockton legend, Orlando Galveo. The postman, Mike Simmons, he does the production. He does it by himself, the camera, the production. No one does it better. Yeah, I'm seeing, I'm seeing uh, Brockton coach there. He's talking to his players now. Probably tell him, look, you know, got to keep your composure, you know, and things like that. Um, maybe that's why uh, he probably took this time out. So you can catch us, Brockton Community Actors, catch us on the Brockton channels. We'll be here later on as the after Thanksgiving for basketball season. I will talk to the postman whether we are doing Thanksgiving Day or not. There's a chance we may be. Yep. And, Brockton um, did lose tonight at home in football, 13 to 12, for their eighth loss of the season, Orlando. Unbelievable. I don't remember the last time. I want to say it was in the 1960s. Coach Wiggins' first year is. Yep. Not been what he's expecting, I don't think. Well, Baron, any miracle here at, uh, in Weymouth, uh, looking at Brockton, the players, they, they're going to lose three big ones, Victor, Fernandez, and DeAndre. And f yeah, 
Yep. Did you say Fabio Fernandez too? Fabio Fernandez. Yep, Fabio Fernandez. So Brockton, you know, they always doesn't always they they don't rebuild, they reload. They're always a mm -hmm. tournament team, always a threat to go deep. They have a terrific coach, Arminio Furtado. I hope the people in the Brockton soccer community really understand what a terrific coach they have. And Weymouth, uh, 34 years in a row making the playoffs. Uh, they got a lot back next year, too. I, so I expect them to be in the same position next year as well. They're not worried about next year. They're still thinking. Yeah, still thinking, yeah. Yeah, we're a few games uh, away. But Ludlow might have game. something to say about that. They sure might. All right. But Weymouth does get them in here at home where – they're going to they have, have their crowd, crowd behind them. Great, yeah, they, they, listen, they great more, fan support here in Weymouth. They have more people at some of their soccer games than the old Brockton Weymouth football games. <laughs> they do. So the ball control back in play by the boxes. Brockton has a lot of the substitute guys on the field right now. Nevin Fonts. Nevin Fonts plays it. And Weymouth's also got some of their bench guys on there right now as they play the ball forward. They got numbers. Number 22 has the that ball. looked like it was nice off size. As the flag stays down. And if that flag stayed down in the first half, we might be talking about a different game. But unfortunately, Brockton on the back end of a really poor call, but nothing you can do about it. They had to come back and score, and they didn't do it. So Brockton controls the ball here. Nice play by number eight from Brockton. Nice touch pass up to number 21. That's Wadley Paul who was streaking. Weymouth controls the ball. Weymouth with the ball. Nice pass intercepted by the boxes. Sent up, sent forward. Here's Valdemar Rodriguez. Valdemar Rodriguez kicks it forward, and Weymouth clears it out easily. Looks like Brockton has made some changes uh, as well. So the ball goes forward to the boxes. There's taking his time. Brockton's not showing really urgency. you got to show some urgency here. There's a header over, and Carly comes uh, out and makes Carly. a play. Great play by Carly. He says, I don't want no, 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 no nonsense here. That urgency we thought we'd get in the second half, Orlando, we didn't get. We just They just didn't have it tonight. Mm -hmm. They showed after that first goal by Weymouth, Brockton had probably 15 minutes of they controlled the play into the Weymouth side of the field. They just weren't able to get that goal. Yeah. Just and, and unfortunately. See, yeah, and you see Weymouth, uh, their goals, their finesse, the way they, they get their goals, the way they play together, it's just been remarkable. Their back end, Brockton's back end, have been a little flat-footed a few times tonight. They've been sensational all season. Unfortunately, tonight, a couple of sequences where they've been able to get behind the Brockton defense and take advantage of um, some Brockton mistakes and put the ball in the back of the net. <clears throat> so Brockton with the ball in play. Weymouth intercepts. Brockton gets the ball back. Again, Brockton with the ball. Ball over to Wadley Paul. Wadley Paul. Brockton's got to send guys to the net. Net of fonts. Nevin Fonts sends the ball in, and that ball's intercepted. And Nevin Fonts again, nice move to get around him. And there's going to be a foul, and yep. Brockton's going to get a kick at about the 10-yard line. That's a good call dangerous there. Dangerous area. Yep. Weymouth uh, is building like a box, making it very difficult, uh, difficult for Brockton to penetrate into the zone. And when you're up 2 nothing, you can do that. Yep. yep. So Brockton... Well, it looks like it's Edgar DeAndre just taking too much time. They got to get this ball and play down by two. Sent back over. Wolf Victor, Edgar DeAndre, set play. The ball goes into Marrera. Tavares sends it over, and that's just cleaned and away by Weymouth. Constantly kicking it away. Benicio Andre sends the ball deep. That ball looking for Wadley Paul. Wadley Paul with space. Nice move. Gets around him. Sends the ball deep, the ball crossed, ah, and goes. Bo Carley. Carley he's, again. He's misplayed one ball tonight, ended up in the back of the net, but it didn't count. Uh, Carley is senior, also a captain. He's been solid tonight. Big, strong-looking kid in net. Yep. So Weymouth sends the ball deep. Ball back to Wilson Andre. Wilson Andre kicks the ball over to Valdemar Rodriguez. Valdemar, Valdemar sends the ball up. Nice move. Sends the ball back across the field for Benicio Andrade. Benicio sends the ball deep. He looks for Adley Paul. The ball intercepted once again by Weymouth. Brockton has the ball, sends the ball into space. Janelson Debrito. Janelson Debrito saves the ball from going out of bounds. Yeah, he doesn't. Go up. So that is going to be a goal kick. 
And I'm pretty sure uh, some shoelaces are going to be tied right now. <laughs> Weymouth in, in, in no hurry, up two to nothing. Looking at uh. So the Weymouth goal kip, Bo Carley. Looking at Mike Weymouth Gullah fans. out there. He hasn't he hasn't looked at his watch yet, but it's pretty close to doing that. Bo Carley sends it deep. The ball headed up by the boxes, and there's Edgar DeAndre. He come someone go over his back, and Brockton will get a throw in. Baltimore Rodriguez and headed away by Weymouth. And that's number 22, Gabriel Ray. There's Edgar again. Edgar with the ball. Edgar keeps it alive, and that will be a Brockton. Oh, that'll be a Weymouth throw. So, Weymouth in no rush to get this ball in play. Yeah, it looks like Weymouth's going to come out here with a victory. I'd like to, you know, congratulate them. Good luck to them in the uh, Elite Eight. They're going to be a tough out. Very good team. A lot of people around soccer thought that this would be a Brockton victory. Not so much tonight. So, a first goal in the first half by Fazzoli. Mason Fazzoli put Weymouth ahead 1-0. Brockton looked like they had the equalizer. Unfortunately, we saw it in replay. A really poor call. Took that goal off the board. We went into halftime up 1-0. Weymouth that was... Really fortunate to get a second goal from Cameron Walty to make it 2-0 on a terrific pass from Bruno D'Souza. Much of the rest of the second half, Brockton was really unable to put much of a threat on Weymouth Orlando. Yeah, defense, uh, what are the names there? Looney, uh, Brady, um, too much of that. Sean Flynn. Sean Flynn, terrific. just solid. And along with the goalie, Bo Carley, it made it very, very uh, difficult for Brockton to get anything. So we're going to wrap up 2023 Brockton High School Soccer. The boxers are going to go out in the second year in a row in the round of 16. Leo Genitasio, thank you for being with us. I'm with the Brockton legend all over the city, Orlando Galveo. And you know him better, no one bells him better. The postman, Mike Simmons, on the production. We may see you on Thanksgiving. If not, catch us on basketball. Brockton Community Access on the Brockton channels. See you later. Thank you. Good night, everybody. Thank you.